Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting intermediate programming tutorial in Turing. Now I've been gone for a while but we're just going to get straight back into it. Today I'm actually going to look at a new um, function for something old that I did. So if you can remember I did that music um, to lesson uh, like four, uh, lesson four I guess. Um, and I showed you how to embed music into your files, into your programs. So today I'm going to show you a new uh, type of like music file, but it's not for music. It's generated in tiering, and uh, those two are sounds, which are a certain frequency sounds, and uh, notes. So I'm going to start with notes. Now, normally you can write music dot play file, which is what we used last time. Play file was what um, we would use, but now I realized you don't have to write it like that. I'm pretty sure you can just write play play file like that, or maybe you don't have to use it. But here, instead of write, writing music dot play, uh, you can write just play, and then go into brackets and in the quotation marks write a note. Now you can write either from A to G, because those are what notes there are. Um, and then you can also put a plus or a minus for either sharps or flats. So pluses are sharps and minuses are flat. So let's just put a C and then do play. And then we can put a D note. So now if I run this, you can't hear it, but it goes do, do. And you can do this all the way back to the next C and it will play the scales for you. Now you, this has a lot of functions, like you can make music in the background with this, but it's pretty cool. I'm not going to go over that. You can just play around with it because it's really experimental and fun. Um, the, and the next thing we're going to look at is sound. Now the way you use the sound function is you write sound and then in brackets you want to write the frequency first and then the um, next part will be uh, what do you call it? So you have sound and you have duration. So I'm going to write 10. So now when we run this, if you will, I can't hear it either right now, but you should start to hear like the frequency sound, right? So uh, what we're going to do is actually we're going to implement this into a new, is this something cool? Right, let's make this count. And what we're going to do is that we're going to make a loop here and then we'll write count equals count plus one and then down here we'll write or actually we'll write count plus ten you know what I should have named my variables like frequency or something but I'm gonna make it count whatever just because it's a counter and in here for the frequency I'll write count and then I'll end the loop so now I hope that it's not gonna play out for the video but uh, when I run this now it oh, it has no it has no value. I keep forgetting to do this. Ow! Okay, that hurts. So what it does is that slowly, by increments of ten, it goes up the frequency, and it starts going so high. And I'm pretty sure I made it to like I don't know, like fifteen thousand or something. I, I don't remember what I made it up to, but there, no, I got pretty. We got pretty high, and I couldn't hear it anymore. But this is just like a cool thing to test out your hearing, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it plays a frequency at yeah, a different um, thing, at a different duration. So that's basically it for this tutorial. Um, it was really quick, actually. The next one, I'm going to actually show you how to use this to make a piano, which is pretty cool. So we'll see you guys later. Peace.